Good morning. Look at that red balloon going up towards the atmosphere. Now our red balloon is garbage floating in the ocean, just waiting for an unsuspecting sea turtle to eat it and clog up its digestive tract. That turtle is going to starve to death. How is it that a red balloon can wreak such havoc? You see, the balloon is composed of car strong carbon-carbon bonds that cannot be broken down in the environment. On top of that, it's a plastic that cannot be recycled. And so it gets, and so it gets discarded after one use. It turns out that on top of the 8 million tons of plastic that lands in the ocean every year, there are 100 million marine life casualties like the one that I just described. So what are we going to do to reform this killer? I'm a chemist and I say that we should repurpose used plastic so that it can be used in materials that help rather than hinder. We could take our balloon and change it from being rubbery to rigid and back again so that it can be used in a variety of different applications. To do so, consider the structure of plastic as being made of long pieces of string. In the same way that string can be knit into a more rigid structure, plastic chains can be connected in a process called cross-linking. For example, we could cross-link our rubbery balloon to make it more rigid like the chairs that you're all sitting in. Now, cross-linking is a well-established technique, but the problem with the way that we do it industrially is that it is irreversible. Now, that not only means more strong bonds that cannot be broken down in the environment, we also no longer have the option to make it rubbery again, which hinders our ability to repurpose. I have recently discovered a new way to cross-link plastic. It involves the incorporation of a phosphorus component into the material to make it more rigid. Now, the exciting thing about this phosphorus component is that it can be degraded. So, the idea is to make a plastic chair from a balloon, and then once we no longer require the chair, degrade it back into a balloon, which can now be used as a feedstock material to make all the different plastics that we use every day. Now, consider the implications. This science is an opportunity for us to mine plastic from the ocean to make safe habitats for sea turtles and other marine life while we'll also be making the water cleaner and safer for ourselves. And as a bonus, we'll be turning our garbage into goods. Thank you.